Hello, welcome to class, Flo here. This is the short version of a class I have on Patreon. It's still a full practice, still a complete class, but if you want the long version of this, which is longer than 60 minutes, then you have to check on Patreon, support us there. And for the price of one cup of coffee a month, you get access to 30, 30 or so classes that are exclusively available on Patreon. This is a all levels Vinyasa Flow class. I would not recommend it for beginners, so if you are a beginner and watching this video, check first the playlist up here for all the beginner classes. We have over 100 of them for free here on YouTube. And then you can always come back to this channel and try this class out. When you're ready to begin, let's start in a seated position at the back of your mat. Come into a comfortable seated position, doesn't matter which position you choose. I will sit on my heels in Thunderbolt, but you can also sit cross-legged. Close your eyes, lengthen through the spine, upwards, sit tall. And use the next five or so breaths to fully arrive. Get ready for the practice. And establish your rhythm of your breath that you want to maintain throughout this class. Take a moment to set your intention for this practice today. And continue to observe the breath. How it's coming in and out through the nose but in your controlled way. Slowly blink your eyes open and make your way into a tabletop. Come onto the toes. And let's start to shift forward and then make a circle clockwise around the wrists. Switch directions. And back to center. Bring both palms together. Bring the back side of your right hand on the ground. Both arms are straight. Start to bend the right arm back. So the elbow goes towards six o'clock. Bring it over to three. Back to six. And straighten the right arm. Let's do two more. And switch sides. Bend the left arm back towards six, over to nine, back to six, straighten, and two more. Release, sit on the heels, stay on the toes, interlace your fingers, roll out the wrists. Make a big circle with the hands. Switch directions. And shake out the hands. Let's meet in a tabletop. But this time bring the feet and the knees a little bit more forward. So they are not directly underneath the hips, but slightly forward. Stay on the toes, lift the knees up. Press into the palms, especially into the inside part of your hands. We sometimes call this turbo cat or an animal flow, we call this beast pose or beast position. From here we're doing some side kick throughs to the right and left side. For that you lift the left foot up, rotate the rotate on the ball of the right foot, land the right heel and kick the left leg through. The arm comes in front of your head with the back of the hand facing towards your face. Keep the left arm straight. We switch and transition through beast to the other side. 
nice and slow this time, nothing fast. And you want to rotate and move on the ball of the foot, so the heel is lifted. That helps to keep the knee safe. And let's do two more each side. Last one. Return back to beast. Plank pose. Downward facing dog, move the hips up and back. Move around if you need to, whatever you need to do to arrive. From here, nice and controlled, roll forward to a plank pose. It might take a few breaths, really focusing on the spine. Once in plank, stay for one, two breaths. And make your way back to downward dog, nice and slow. Again, roll forward to a plank. It should take several breaths. We're moving super slow in slow motion. Once you are in plank, engage the glutes, lower the hips. Continue to move towards upward facing dog. Still nice and slow. The pose is unfolding in slow motion. And from here back to downward dog. Can you move slower? It might take three or four breaths to get to downward dog. One more just like that. We're slowly adding onto it, super slow. We're moving into upward facing dog. No need to pump out the push-ups and the reps if you move this slow right and it also increases your awareness and gives the fascia time to adjust and adapt upward dog is where we meet and from there super slow we shift forward bend the arms for chaturanga slowly bend we're moving in slow motion once in chaturanga straighten the arms to plank slow 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 And downward facing dog, super slow. Lift your right leg up and back, three legged dog. Now we're again moving at a more regular pace. Bend the right knee, open stack the hips. Come high onto your left toes, inhale, exhale, right knee to the left armpit. Bring it up and back, three-legged dog, open stack the hips. One more, right knee to the left armpit. Starfish pose, extend the right leg through, land the left heel. Lift the hips, both legs are straight. Reach your left arm up and over the head, forward, opening the left side body. On your exhale, left hand down, side plank on the left hand. Reach your right arm forward, up and over the head. Lift your left hip slightly higher up. Start to lift your right leg up, 
bend the right leg and step the right foot forward for low lunge. Land the left knee, untuck the left toes, inhale, reach both arms up. Reach your arms back, interlace your hands, open the front, open the chest, straighten the arms, reach the hands towards your left foot. Maybe look up towards the ceiling. Inhale, slowly release. Arms up. Exhale, again, hands down, half splits, straighten the right leg. Flex the right foot, inhale to lengthen through the spine, exhale, fold forward. Rebend the right knee, plant the right foot, runner's lunge, come onto your left toes, frame the right foot. Bring both hands inside the right foot, straighten both legs for standing straddle forward fold, prasarina fold forward and down. Make sure the heels are wider apart than the toes. Now the option to stay here or if you want to work a little bit more on strength and control, place the left hand underneath your chest, most likely off the mat. Reach your right arm out to the right side. Come onto the toes and then land the left knee on top of the left elbow. Keep the right leg straight. Now start to Pivot on the ball of the right foot, bend the right knee and extend the left leg to the front of the mat. Keep that right heel lifted the whole time. We're coming back to land the left knee on top of the left elbow, straighten the right leg and extend through to the right. One more time. And extend. Maybe the left knee is not even landing. It's just hovering. Standing straddle forward fold. Land both feet, straighten the legs and fold down. Take a deep breath in, lift up halfway. Exhale, Skandasana to the left. From here, let's move to the front of the mat into tree pose. Hands to the heart. Stand tall, move the hips forward. Pull the left knee back. Continue with that nice low breath with control through the nose. And let's lift the left leg up, bring the left thigh about parallel to the floor and the left leg bent at 90 degrees. Your right hand now grabs outside the left knee, reach your left arm behind you, stand tall. Keep reaching back with the left hand, at the same time you're kind of blocking the left knee to go with the rotation. Slowly release, reach both arms up, extend the left leg back for warrior three. Bring both hands to the heart. Lower the left hip more down. And let's cross the left leg behind the right thigh. Come onto the knife edge of the left foot, but stay with the entire sole of the right foot on the mat. 
Left fingertips down at the inside of the right foot, the right arm is reaching up. Plant the left hand down, bend the right leg, keep the left leg straight, reach your right arm forward. Now draw the right knee to the right armpit and extend the right leg back for floating starfish. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Land the foot, starfish. Reach the right arm up and over the head. Plank pose, both hands down. Pull the left leg out, step it back. Move the hips up and back, nice and slow, to down dog, super slow, several breaths. And roll forward, super slow, to upward dog. Take about five breaths to get down. And take about five breaths to come back to downward dog. Let's lift the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Bend your left knee, open stack. Inhale, come high onto the right toes. Exhale, left knee to the right armpit. Inhale, reach it up and back, open stack. And one more time to the right armpit. Extend the left leg through for starfish. Reach the right arm up and over the head. On your exhale, right hand down, pull the left leg out, side plank on the right hand. Reach your left arm up and over the head. Lift your right hip just a bit higher up. Start to lift your left leg up, bend the knee, slowly step the left foot to the front of the mat. Low lunge. Set the right knee down, untuck the toes, reach the arms up. Release the hands down, interlace them behind the back. Straighten the arms, open the front. Reach your hands more towards the right foot. Inhale, release, back to low lunge. Both arms up 
Exhale, hands down, straighten the left leg, half splits. Inhale to lengthen through the spine, exhale to fold. Keep reaching the crown of the head forward and fold the chest towards the left leg. Rebend the left knee, release. Come forward to a runner's lunge and place both hands inside the left foot, pivot to the right for standing straddle forward fold. When you're ready on the exhale, fold down. Stay here if you wish to. You can also interlace the hands behind the back and reach your arms up and over the head for a nice shoulder stretch or for more strength and control. The right hand again comes down underneath the chest, most likely off the mat. Reach the left arm to your left, lift your hips, uh, lift your heels up. So come high onto the toes and then tap the right knee on top of the right elbow. Keep the left heel lifted, bend the left leg, extend the right leg to the front of the mat. And then come back, right knee on top of the right elbow. Let's do two more. And the last one. And back to Standing, straddle, forward, fold, fold down. Let's all take a deep breath in, lift up halfway. Exhale, Skandasana to the right. From here we move to the front of the mat for a tree pose, again nice and slow, with control, with awareness, feel the body, tree pose. It's all mindful movement. Hands to the heart, balance, lengthen the crown of the head more up, instead of just puffing up the chest and actually tilting the rib cage and compressing the kidneys, you want to just lengthen up and think of the length or feel the length more at the back side of your body. Everything's lengthening up. Push the hips forward, pull the right knee back, open the right hip. The space you create through this opening, fill it with breath, with prana, with life force, energy, with presence. Let's release, bring the right knee forward, the right thigh parallel to the ground, right leg about 90 degrees bend, the left hand comes outside the right knee. Stand tall, reach your right arm behind you. You want to rotate the upper body from the hips up more to the right, as well as the right hand. With your left hand, you're blocking the right knee. You're blocking the lower body. Slowly release, reach both arms up, extend the right leg back, warrior three, hands to the heart, palms together. Lower the right hip more down, three more breaths here in warrior three. Let's cross the right leg behind the left thigh. Right hand down. You're on the knife edge of the right foot, but the left foot is fully on the ground. Reach your left arm away from you and then up. Straighten your left leg more. Perhaps you feel this in the left lateral line of your body, the outside of the left leg and the left hip.
plant the right palm down, create a good foundation, reach your left arm forward, strong with the right foot, engage that lateral arch on the outside of the right foot, draw the left knee to the left armpit. Extend the left leg back, floating starfish for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Land the foot, starfish pose. Reach your left arm up and over the head. On the exhale, land the left hand, plank pose, pull the right leg out, step it back. And move back to downward dog. Let's do one more super slow round. We're rolling forward into an upward dog. Take again at least five breaths to get there. Shift forward and continue to Chaturanga. Slowly bend the arms, stabilize the core, the front body. Tuck the tailbone a bit. Once you're there, straighten the arms. Slow to plank for five, four, three, two, one. And in 10 seconds, coming back to downward dog. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And this is basically how the breath should be used. So if you use the breath to transition, then by the time the breath is complete, that breath cycle, you should reach the final expression of the pose and the whole time before that you're transitioning. And of course you can make it several breaths and make it a slow flow, especially going through a practice like this and it's really challenging your control, strength and stability. Let's make our way one more time to the front of the mat into yogi squat, malasana, feet outside the hands. Bend the knees for a squat. And let's set the hips down for a butterfly. Bring the soles of the feet together, grab the feet and then fold forward and down. Especially after this practice so far, let's now take the time to really consciously slow down the breath. Instead of engaging anything here in this pose, can you relax and surrender more? Let's stay for about five more breaths here. And in the long version on Patreon, this is now the time where we would enter a 
very long yin module. So that class is what we call yinyasa. It's half vinyasa, half yin. So after a strong flow like this, we finish with lots of long holds, stretching, surrendering, letting go. So we really get all the aspect of the practice. The control, the strength, the effort, as well as the ease, the gentle, and the relaxation. To release, slowly push yourself back up, move nice and slow. Let's bring the feet together, the knees together again, the feet down to the ground, hands behind you. And then simply slide the hips forward until you feel a good stretch in the shoulders. And then sit the hips all the way back down to the mat. Take a deep breath in to lift the chest. Exhale, bend your arms and send the elbows back. Now, root down into the feet and into the hands, lift your hips for reverse tabletop. Lower the hips, straighten the legs, so you're only on the heels, and bend the knees again, move the hips forward and up for another reverse tabletop. And release the hips down and come into a comfortable seated position. You have a couple options here. You can finish up the practice here with me in a short seated position, just taking a couple of deep breaths. You can also come onto your back, finish with a nice Shavasana. I recommend staying for several minutes. You can also have this be the transition into your breathwork practice or your meditation practice or anything else that you that you choose. Let's close the eyes, sit tall. And let's just take a deep breath in through the nose, fill the, fill the lungs all the way up to the top. At the top, hold for just a moment. Open mouth, let it all go. Deep breath in. Hold for a moment. Open mouth, exhale. One more, just like that. Inhale. Hold. Open mouth, exhale. Seal your lips, breathe through the nose. And just witness and observe any changes in your body, how you're feeling, and in your breath. Without labeling it already, simply observe, acknowledge, and let it go again. Bring the hands together in front of your chest. Thank yourself for showing up, for making time to focus on you. Thank you for allowing me to share my practice with you today. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video, maybe tomorrow. With love and gratitude, Namaste.